Hello everyone, Chimzy here. Today we're going to be talking about spending the holidays away from home in China. And I just want to reflect a little bit on the unexpected challenges of spending the holidays away from home. And man, you got to really acknowledge the impact of the cultural differences. When it comes to holiday celebrations in China and your country, because as you may know, Chinese do not particularly see December as a festive season. They do understand that the rest of the world, well, the Christian world at least, are celebrating Christmas and they know that, you know, there's a new year coming up by December the 31st and by January the 1st is going to be a new year, but they have their own holidays and they celebrate it early during the year. So they do not match with the commonly known Western holidays. And man, I think that we have to talk about it because I think that it will affect you somehow or it won't. It really depends. Depends, you know, it, I think that it really depends, and you'll see why in a moment. Uh, first of all, we're gonna talk about the city where you live in and uh, holiday opportunities because the thing is that spending the holidays, let's talk about, let's say, Christmas in a small city in a big city will be very different, right? Because you know, the, in a city like Shanghai, there are Christmas markets everywhere. For example, and there are lots of restaurants and bars that will be having activities related to the holidays, right? So it will be easy for you to find opportunities to celebrate along with other expat expats, right? But if you live in a small city, you might not get the same opportunities, and you're gonna have to rely on the events that your friends co-workers or classmates organize for the holidays and you know that is assuming that you have friends and co-workers that are willing to hang out with you or you know that your workplace or whatever institution you form part of is willing to organize something for you but if not then you might not have the chance to join any activity or celebrate as you wish you could right i think that something that I've noticed, you know, when I, I was posting some memes about celebrating Christmas in, in, in China, uh, which by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, remember you can follow me and find me under China University Podcast. I post lots, lots of funny and sometimes not so funny memes. But anyway, I think that another thing that you have to consider is the group dynamics in a foreign country. Because man, like something that I've talked about in previous episodes is the fact that friends in China come and go it's it's a it's hard to digest you know it's something that I still uh, struggle with you know with the fact that people in China come and go they're either going back to their countries or moving to a different city or to a different country and you're always going to have to ensure that you have a support network and a group of people that likes to hang out with you and will reach out to you when it comes to social events and stuff like that and it's really easy if you have it's really easy for you to celebrate holidays if you have a, a group of friends to celebrate with but if you don't eh, and you are an extrovert you will suffer if you're an introvert you might suffer as well or ambivert ambivert but I'm just telling you that it, it'll be really hard for you to spend the holidays and especially because it's during winter, man. The, the, the Christmas holidays are particularly hard for a lot of experts because it's cold. You don't get exposed to sunlight that much and you know what that can provoke in you. It can provoke depression and seasonal depression and other stuff and isolation, social isolation. And if you don't have friends that are going to drag you out of your room then you will be in a dangerous place and you know some people are totally okay they do not mind spending the holidays away from home because they find so much excitement in their 
China experience, right? So yeah, I I just want to say that your the way you experience the holiday season in China, especially during December and January and the Chinese New Year and all that, will uh will rely a lot on your circles and your connections and the people that you know. So I think that the first time that I experienced, you know, what do you call it? Um, I don't know how to experience it. Nostalgia, maybe during the holidays was not the first not was not during the first winter vacation or the first holiday the christmas holiday was during the second year i think and the third year because i felt like during the first year everything was so new so fresh that i i just don't know i you know you celebrated most of the christmas holidays with your family and yeah it's cool and you know what it looks like right but then you know your life in china seems so much more exciting right because there's so many things to experience and that eventually wears off of course and then you start missing spending the holidays with your family but there's so many things that might prevent you from doing so you know during covid it was the you know the freaking plane tickets and the border restrictions and uh sometimes it's just you know your work schedule or your class schedule right or whatever thing you're working on maybe you're working on some important papers maybe you have final exams coming up soon which is a total bitch because i know there are many foreigners out there who wish to go back home but they can for whatever reason right and sometimes i know that i de- by the end of december and the beginning of january is when you have the final exams in many universities and i know that it's it's kind of hard for people who work in schools for example because it's like nothing is happening right they have to keep on work going to work and it's hard right i think that many of you will relate to what i'm saying um i think that um <clears throat> some of the some of the problems that people experience during the holidays are are related to to their own feelings and and thoughts of what am i even saying man um sorry what i'm trying to say is that people have mixed feelings sometimes when they're in china about the holidays because i was talking to someone and they were telling me how they didn't miss home they didn't miss the holidays back home and they they were perfectly fine with just being in china and not celebrating the holidays with their family for whatever reason um and it made me kind of reflect a bit on how i felt about spending the holidays back home and not spending the holidays back home because man you know for some people they they find a second family in their friends in, in china and in some cases i think that they actually find 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 more comfort in the people that they meet in china than their own family members uh you know especially if if i don't know you know there's a there's always a joke that you know there's always that that one weird uncle that has to like you know bring up crazy topics during the during the table and you know bring drama during the holidays and i don't know man people have different reasons right to to like being with their family during the holidays that were not 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 being very excited about spending the holidays with their family and i think you know you you gotta if you cannot go back home for whatever reason right it could be because the plane tickets are just too expensive which is it's it's more common than you think I feel like um people are not very excited about spending money on a plane ticket especially if you they have a uh, pending mat pending matters in China like their studies their theses their work whatever it could be so many things but I think you can still connect with your family in different ways right by man I think sometimes a simple phone call is is fine uh I guess that your family will understand that you know that you can't be there and something that I heard as well is that um this friend of mine he felt 
a little bit bad because, well, he was not feeling bad, but after a while, his family, well, pitied him, like, felt, felt pity for him because he was away from home, could not celebrate the Christmas holidays with them. And because of that, then he, sta he started to pity himself and think, like, dude, like, is this how I am being perceived? Is this, like, like are people uh, patronizing me? Are people, like, feeling emotions that I don't even feel? Uh, is this how I'm supposed to feel? Am I supposed to feel sad for not spending the holidays with my family and that kind of affected his whole mood his whole mood during the holidays because he was ready to celebrate the holidays in a whole different way by traveling by himself but then it was a little bit triggering that people were pitying uh pitying him by like showing pity to him because he was away from home and and they just probably assumed that i don't know he didn't have a life or that he didn't have anything to do in china but you know it kind of make me realize that some people are perfectly fine with spending the holidays away from home but it's 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 also um confusing right um i think that something that it would have done differently is to have a plan for the holidays you know but it really depends on what you like because you know some people are, are very spontaneous they do not like to plan things too far ahead and i get it i like being spontaneous as well i i just think that sometimes you have to make plans ahead of time if you think that you will need to you if you need to celebrate the holidays if you feel that you have to do something symbolic or ceremonial during the holidays in china you need to prepare ahead of time and connect with people uh send messages to people ahead of time and make sure that they're going to do something and you know be ready to be told that they people have other plans because man th that's the thing during the holidays everyone has their own shed right they have their own plans they have their own ideas of what they would like to do during the holidays and it's nice when people ask you but you know be ready to experience holidays that don't look like what you expected right so if you want your holidays to look like uh something that you enjoy then you're gonna have to make preparations ahead of time and take the initiative i think to to do something by reaching out to people or by making a plan like a traveling plan or something like that or trying to find activities online and uh but because if you wait for the holidays to come and you're expecting something magical to happen some christmas miracle to happen and and you being surrounded by friends and, and for fa and family and and it, it, it might not happen you know it might not happen and it, it might be really sad Add. It, but like I said, it, it's really, um, it varies, you know, it, I'm sorry, it varies from person to person because I think some people are just introverts who are perfectly fine with spending their holidays alone and they're extroverts who cannot conceive the idea of spending a holiday alone and not doing anything. So I think I said everything I needed to say. Um, I just wish you all a happy new year. I hope that you spend your holidays doing what you want to do right and uh yeah i'll i'll talk to you next year oh you hear me out oh you hear me again next year i had to make that joke of course and um you'll see we'll see anyway thank you very much for listening to my podcast man it, it's so hard for me to know if anyone is listening out today remember you can always leave comment comments on whatever platform you're listening to to this episode and it can be spotify apple Podcasts, youtube and google podcasts and uh yeah just let me know i wish you all a happy holiday and uh, i I'll, i'll talk to you i'll talk to you i'll talk to you next time all right and uh Remember to follow me on Instagram if you want to see some funny memes and reels. And uh, you can send me a message there too. And uh, I will try to reply to your message or any thoughts that you have in a timely manner. Anyway, I hope you, ha I hope you have a really nice Christmas. And I hope you have a really happy and blessed new year. All right, see you next time.